Man, what we gonna do today, y'all? We going fishing. Where are we going fishing? I was thinking of uh, the blindfold fishing hole. Blind man's creek. That's what I'm thinking there. Where the big billy big mouse roam. Well, I hope you bought some big poles and some big baits. Up. It's fishing time. Starring Crab Claw. My man. Wow. Also starring Buzzbait. Fish in the South's finest waterway. Look at that one, babe. Fishing time is brought to you by Southern Chevrolet. Me. What pound test line was that? Twelve. Twelve pound test I, line. I, 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 I believe in, in, in use as light of line as you can. I'm doing fifteen today. That's good. Uh, well, I, I got to pull them out of them lily pads, and then I need a little bit more backbone. Need uh, some backbone, all right? For well, these Billy check Big this out. I just went and bought some hooks. Now, there's a couple of different hooks well, that listen, you can you might, use. You might have to hook me up with one of those. These you know. are a couple of different hooks you can use. On your frog. Big hooks. Big hooks. You want it to penetrate, you know, through the bait and then, you know, into the uh, bass's mouth. See how it's got that, that L right there? That That's what's going to hold your frog. That's what's going to keep it from pulling through the frog. So check this out. Just bought these frogs. Look at that pretty frog right there. All right, so what we're going to do... You're going to take that hook, you're going to run him in there just about that much, just enough that will go and hold, see, see how it's holding on there? Now this right here, you pinch your frog, you run him through the frog, and he's on the back side, you see him? He's exposed. But whenever you pull that frog in, now he's not exposed. If you want to, you can kind of, see how I pushed him right in there just a little bit, just to keep it more weedless. That's it, Bob. And then when he does hit it, you want to do about one Mississippi and then lay you need the it, hammer. You're exactly right, Crab Claw. You got to give it a little bit of time. You don't want to snatch it out of his mouth. You want him to eat it. You want to drag down one Mississippi and freaking pull the hammer on him. You got to set the hammer with these frogs because you want to penetrate that hook through and into his mouth. Jaw. Yeah, jaw. So... There's my simple rig. I, I like to rig it about six, seven times. Then that line goes back through the loop of your line. And that's how simple that is. Cinch it on in there. I don't think you're there it is. Be using your teeth there. Well, I, I, I know, but you know, buzz bait, I, I'm, I'm, I have no patience. I don't have patience to reach down in my pocket and pull out a knife for the tweezers, I got to go. But you do have chipped teeth. Oh, well, of course, look, <laughs> look. There it is. That's what's hopefully gonna get that Billy Big Mouth today. Put him in there, just wow, man. Just, no weight. No weight. No weight on your frog. Slow as you can with as Slow. much action as you can put on them. Low. On them paddle feet. That's right. And what we're going to do, we're going to throw that frog, that weedless frog, way up in that grass today. Pull them out, all right? It's fishing time. It's Chevy time. Come on and get you some. I think you got enough. <laughs> that's what, that's what the nine, that's what the nine, nine and a half pounder come off of. Oh man, that thing is beautiful. Nine and a half pounders where we're going. Uh, that's where Paw Paw caught that, that show enough big bad boy. <laughs> Look at the size of that worm. That's what they like though, you know, big, big baits, like. big fish, you know. Big bait, big we, fish. We ain't here to catch small fish, you no, know. Uh, we, no. we, we're, 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 this is going to be a special trip. I mean, I mean the last time we came. 12 inch. 12 inches. A uh, pure worm. I don't know if my 10 inch is going to be long enough. 
wow, look at the size of that worm. <laughs> I mean, that's what a nine pounder wants. That's what they want, my man. All right, so. We are ready. Now, let me go ahead and show y'all once again easy way to tie line to line. Yeah, because what he's doing is, you know, you don't necessarily have to, you know, pull all the line off. You know, you want to have some filler on your uh, right. on your reel. And you want to have your reel full of line. You, you don't, you know, it needs to be full. Yeah, look, line's expensive. You keep going out buying line every time you go fishing, you go... <laughs> You'll feel it. Oh yes, You'll sir. Feel it. Your your wallet, your 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 wallet will fill it. But it's it's simple process. Take that line and you loop it. Take this and you just simply put it in the line like that. I like to twist it once or twice. You don't want a big knot because this is gonna be in your spool. Just simply tie that on that one side. Reach over here, take some of the excess off. You don't need a lot of that excess line there because it's just one, two. That's it. Loop it back through that loop. There's line to line. Always get that excess. See that little bitty knot? Now that right there is going to be just fine going up in that spoon. Yeah, because, yeah, exactly. And then he'll save a dollar or two by doing that, you know? He'll that knot will save you a dollar or two. About four bucks, really. So you just want to make sure your line is good and tight, and it's a, just a simple tying line to line, and here we go. You need for me to hold that? In me? No, sir. In me? I like to have my spool, I like to have some line on my spool now. I like to have some line on my spool, that way when I throw it out there, I do not get to the knot. And, you know, a bigger spool gives it a, a, a longer retrieve, you know. Uh, quicker. A quicker retrieve. Quicker retrieve. You don't have to work it as fast, you know. That's right. That's about it. You don't want to spool it all the way up to the, to the top. You want to leave about an eighth of an inch of spool. That's right. An eighth of an inch of spool. Yeah, you know, if you, if you fill it up too much, then it, 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 won't, it won't perform That's correctly. That's right. That is correct. Hey folks, this is Mark Morgan at Southern Chevrolet. I just want to remind everybody, Southern Chevrolet has been here 26 years. We are so proud to be in South Baldwin County. You know, this community has supported us for year after year after year after year. Our business has continued to grow and grow and grow. Our service business has grown. So we appreciate being in South Baldwin County. Come down to Southern Chevrolet, it's a Southern thing. You know, my weapon of choice Buzzbait likes to use is the Revo. Abu Garcia Revo SX. High speed. Ten bearings. So how much uh, will a reel and a rod combo, what's the price tag on well, something like that? Well, you can get the reel for about $149. 149 That's right. And you can get the rod. That is a Walmart all-star soft Swimming bait, which that's what I'm using. <laughs> you get it. You get here a second, you want your buzz. Soft swim bait, all star from Walmart. Yeah, that well, that bad it? boy right there, I think, was like 69 or 89. 150. But, but here's the deal with the all stars. Lifetime warranty. Even if you smash them up Even in the car. Even if you smash it, you take it back, they give you a brand new one. That's an investment right there, boys. That's the tip of the day right there. Tip of the day. We're going to the honey hole, so we're going to use a small... I like using a small bullet weight for my worm. And you like black. I love black. I like doing that. And also, I believe in beads. Bead gives it a clack. Gives it a clack. We're going to take one of these magnum hooks to go on the magnum worm. And what is that? A, what size all is that? Four all? That's a number four old hook. Big hook. You know it. Big hook, big worm, big fish. <laughs> That's what we're going at. That's what we're going to try to accomplish. Well, everybody hang tight. We're going after a big, big bite. Right here on fishing time.
We hope you all enjoy this show. Hey, this is Mark Morgan at Southern Chevrolet in Foley again. Hey, I just thought of something the other day. We've been here since 1991. Now, for those of you viewing this, I don't know if you remember where you were in 91, but I'll tell you where I was. I was two years out of high school. It's been a long time since Southern Chevrolet's been here. We've been here a long time, and the only way we've experienced any level of success is repeat and referral customers. Our customers continue to come back. Southern Chevrolet, it's a Southern thing. Come on down to the seafood shop where the seafood's fresh and the gumbo's hot where you pick them and we And what seems to be the problem, Buzz Bait? Well, let me tell you. That's what I was telling you earlier. You see, man, I, that's what we got to use to get in the honey hole. Tight headquarters when you uh, Tight. So the situation is we have no key to get the hitch off. Because we got the wrong size ball sticking up, and we need the bottom size ball sticking up. That's right. So... We gotta improvise. We're gonna pull the grinder out. We're gonna grind that bad boy off. Cause we got to go fishing. All right, be careful. This key goes on that one. Okay, oh, of course. <laughs> I have no idea where that key is. I've never seen it. <laughs> well, <laughs> before I go grinding this thing off, let me look a second. Yeah, there, there's probably a key somewhere Somewhere, somewhere. Because I know how meticulous Mr. Alvis is. He, he keeps his stuff together. Well, I'm here to tell you that Buzzbait is notorious for losing keys. <laughs> Trust me. You, you said a while ago, make sure I get that key back. <laughs> It'll be the last time I see that key. <laughs> It probably just needs a hammer. Where's the hammer? Yeah, that's all it needs now. Well, you... Almost. Always something when you go fishing, Buzz Bait. I mean, we expect the unexpected every single time. Go hang tight. We are getting to the fishing hole. Just hang on! We just run a little bit behind. Yeah, we run a little bit behind. Here, here we go. Here we go. Bottom side down is now bottom side up. <laughs> no, you don't need that one again. You're not, you're gonna need a new pin, Buzz. Or a nut and a bolt. Oh, 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 uh, rigging style. Nut and a bolt. Everybody hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, we're getting closer to getting the boat on the trail. <laughs> so what do you think, Cool? I'm ready to go. You've been ready, hadn't you? I'm ready to catch a big one. <laughs> well, but we're, we're getting there. We'll get there sooner or later. I think she's on there. She's on there. Tight and secure. All right, now. Hey, folks, this is Mark Morgan at Southern Chevrolet again, reminding you, come visit Southern Chevrolet Service Department. Experience the difference in being part of the Southern Chevrolet family. Our managers have been here a long time. We provide courtesy transportation for our customers. Hey, we know people don't want to come to a service department, sit down, sit around, hang around for three and four and five and six hours to get service work done. That's why we provide service loaners for our customers. We want you to come in, be able to drop your car off, take, take it somewhere, go to Walmart, go shopping, go to the outlet mall and come back and your car be sitting on ready. Come to Southern Chevrolet Service Department. It's a Southern thing. Welcome to Fishing Time, hosted by Team LRT. Where we show you tips, tools, and rules. Hooks, weights, and baits. The good, the bad. And sometimes the ugly. And why safety is most important. So everybody hang tight.
We're over at Blindfold Creek, about to go for the Billy Big Mouth fish. That's right, we after a big bite right here at the Honey Hole. What you think about that, Chris, the hammer grammar? I want to get the big one. <laughs> you I going wanna, after the big one? I want to top Paw Paws. Let's top him out, y'all. We going after the big bite right here at Blindfold Creek. Me, the Crab Claw, and the Cool Hand Grandma. Let's show them what a jackfish looks like. We just got in the water and nice fish. Yeah. Right out the chute. You think it was the same fish that swirled on it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Look at the size of that jackfish crab claw. Dude, what, Look that's at the a good... teeth on that bad boy. Wow, but that was a fun catch. It was. I have no uh, pliers. I got some pliers. <laughs> totally. Just getting started. Are you comfortable right now, Buzz Babe? I tell you what. Folks, let me tell y'all something. You know, when the buzz bait goes fishing, he's used to being in that big old skeeter boat with comfort and luxury. Did y'all hear that? A little rumble in the thunder. A little bit of rumble. Look, something just hit right there. But I tell you what, this little old minnow here, it is a challenge. But once you get situated, it ain't too bad of a little old buzz. And as you can see, uh, old buzz bait's got uh, me and the hammer grammar in tow and uh, since we ain't got a trolling motor. <laughs> That's right. We don't have our boat registered because uh, if you don't have a motor on your boat, you doesn't, it doesn't have to be registered. You know, kind of like a canoe. Uh, as you can see, we're fishing one of these little bass hunters. I guess it's uh, 8.9 foot. Uh, but yeah, if you got a trolling motor or a running motor, then uh, your boat is supposed to be registered as far as uh, I know. That is correct. So we left the trolling motor at the house because I hadn't had the old skater boat uh, registered in a few years. Been out of commission a little bit. Thought we'd bring her out of retirement. See if we can get one of these Billy Big Mouths to come out and bust up on this frog. As you can see, we're going to be doing top water. There's a lot of grass. Might do a little bit of spinner bait. Worms. Uh, worms, worms, weedless, raining a little bit over here at the honey hole. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Well, I know it's a bad thing for this camera, I do know that. Crab Claw, what in the world do you think about this big bad boy? Huh? 3500 HD. 3500 HD right here at Team Southern Chevrolet. Look now, if you want to drag something from here to California, this might be what you're looking for right here. Big 350 Dually right here at Team Southern Chevrolet. Highway 59 Foley, Alabama. It's a southern thing. Oh, we got on. Seemed like a good fish, didn't it? Worm? Anaconda. Gosh. <laughs> Look at the size inches. of that worm. 12 inches. They can't stand it. Can't stand it. Now, let me tell y'all on that one. What happened, I did not penetrate the hook through the worm. A little too much slack. It was, the fish was way too far away from me. He, I couldn't, when I brought the worm back in, the, the hook didn't even go through. Yeah, with well, the worm that big though, you really gotta you pop got, it to you it. You got to lay the hammer down. You gotta pop so, it to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it through the worm and then pinch it and let it come back in just a little bit. To that make, way it'll help it. Come out. And a condo worm. 
big old worm out there, and these fish out here, they love big bait. What it was, I really didn't feel him just hit it, but what he did, he just grabbed it and the line was moving, and I knew something was on its end. Yeah, you, when the line moves, that's always a good sign. <laughs> Don't know, don't don't know if that was a grunnel or a bat. Don't know. Hey Hammer. What up? Here you go, babe. Yeah, to go, babe. yeah toss me one uh, while you on it. Here you go, crab claw. Thank you, brother man. I only got one left now. That's all I need. <laughs> Here you go, man. We got him. That was a good cat. Yeah. Anaconda worm. Nice Twelve smell. inches. Nice smell, funky. Woodpeckers are, are going out there. See? Well, that's a big old woodpeckers, ain't it? That's a woody woodpecker, ain't it? Watch out for this, uh, we're about to get, yeah. might, might want to use that paddle. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, just reel to it, just reel to it. What about the Z71, Buzz Bait? Uh, would you like to drive a Z71? I'll tell you what, this is probably the most popular truck on the road today. You know what I mean? Z71 Chevrolet truck. One of the most popular trucks. Durable. Unbelievable. Got a lot of buddies that's got them. Never had any problems with them. Y'all come see Team Southern Chevrolet with Mark Morgan and the whole family down here. Z71, Southern Chevrolet, will get the job done. It's a Southern thing. What'd you think, Hammer? What'd you think, Hammer Grammar? Look at that fish in his throat. Let me see. Look at him, how fat that belly is. They're gonna swallow them one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they can see it, but uh, but it's got a dag. Looks like he's got a freaking daggum uh, brim. There's a tail in his mouth. Go to, yeah. Can you see that? <laughs> There's a tail in his mouth, and he hit that daggum. What, what were you fishing with? Spinnerbait. A spinnerbait. My granddad's spinnerbait. Probably 20 years old. <laughs> probably 20 years 20 old. 20 year old spinnerbait. Dang man, that's a good looking fish, that's there, the bro. Biggest fish I ever got. Man, I hate to throw him back. Should I? <clears throat> I should have brought a daggum. Should I let him see another day? Yeah, let him see another day there. We'll catch him next year. That's a job well done, brother. I just had two banger banger hits, man, and off then off top, off top. And then yeah, you kinda wonder if it was the same fish. I think we done found a, I think we done found the honey hole honey there. Honey hole in the honey hole. <laughs> hey, hey, let's keep fishing, all right? The honey hole in the honey hole. Hey. Get you some, get you some well, buzz there bait. Is. There it is, hey, right there. I say, buzz bait, get you some, son. That's my granddad's spinner bait from probably God knows how old. Well, listen, I'm gonna try to ease back over here and try to catch this other one. I think we done found a honey hole. Let's do it. <laughs> Trying to find a blue crab. Get paid, wondering what will leak. Got lots of bills due today. 
Think bus, babe. Woo! Let me tell y'all what, that was an adventure, like I said once before. <laughs> Honey hole's an adventure. <laughs> wow. So how did we do how did we do today? Well, I probably missed four or five. I think I was one for four, one for five. I think uh, the hammer grammar. The hammer grammar's the one with the big fish. A good three pounder. Might even went three and a half pounds. What'd y'all do with him? Him we threw him back. Y'all take pictures. Yep. We did get a picture of him. <sighs> Let me tell you, the honey hole is a hit and miss. It's a hit and miss. But there are some good fish right here. Yeah, I mean, Creek. I mean, the uh, the hits that I had, man, were gully washers, man. I mean, few and far, though. Well, y'all just hang on, man. We got more fishing to do, so everybody just hang tight. Fishing time is just getting started for the 2018 series. So y'all hang tight. We're always after that great bite. <laughs> Until next time. Fishing time. Hey folks, this is Mark Morgan at Southern Chevrolet. I just want to remind everybody, Southern Chevrolet's been here 26 years. We are so proud to be in South Baldwin County. You know, this community has supported us for year after year after year after year. Our business has continued to grow and grow and grow. Our service business has grown. So we appreciate being in South Baldwin County. Come down to Southern Chevrolet, it's a Southern thing. Alabama. 